Hey, this is going to be a basic uh, 101 on a French drain, installing a simple French drain. I've already dug the trench out, as you can tell. I brought my rock, got my 4-inch corrugated, of course my saw, but I won't need that. I was using that to cut the roots out. So I won't bore you with digging a trench, but the problem here is this. That yard feeds straight into the corner of this house. So all the water runs downhill and it collects in the most susceptible area, which is the worst because this house was built at ground level. Okay? You can see right there, there's the, the footing. Okay? So let's uh, install this thing. Okay, the first thing I want to do, of course, is put this cap on the end of the gutter. All right? Now you can either run it upwards or you can run it downwards. That's totally up to you. Okay? Hopefully it fits and I got the right size. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now the next thing you do, of course, is tape it. Now, I could also have this be lower here, but that's not necessary. Gravity will force the water down and out. The main concern is the water that's collecting at the foundation. This trench, I've already taken the level and put it in the trench, and it's a half a bubble heading that way, okay? So we know that part's already good because I already did all that before you guys got here, okay? All right, so let's get this started here. Hope you're enjoying these how-to videos. I've been getting a lot of requests for them, so I decided to start doing them. A lot of you guys are shocked that they even see me actually working. I've had many of you say that I do before and after, but then I leave and then I bring a crew in to do the work, just like on a TV show, a mini-series, uh, like this old house, and then I do the after, and then you guys, uh, you know, say, well, who did the work? <laughs> The new guy's supposed to be showing up in about a couple minutes, too. Okay. That's done. There we go. Good deal. Now normally, sorry, humidity is like 120% at 8.30 this morning. Ah, hopefully my volume, you can hear me. I got the camera about 10 foot away, so you can see this. So now the idea is to pour rock, pour rock into the uh, trench and then fill this up. Now I got some metal edgers that I'm going to border this land right here. And then all the dirt that I got out of the trench is going to be backfill for this steel plate edger that I'm putting right here and then backfill. This will force the water to go around and not just spill in here. Now, that's a pretty big grade of hill, so water is going to try to get down here no matter what. But I'm going to do everything in my power to make it move that way. So that's the idea of getting water to divert away from the foundation. This was a bad idea from the get-go. So 
you know, what can I say? But let's uh, put a bag in there. Okay. And I won't bore you with the rest of it because you know what's going to happen here. I'm just going to put all this in here and then tuck this down as much as possible and then put my metal edger in and then rake this dirt up and then this project will be done. Hope you guys learned something. Like I said, this is a really simple French drain only to divert water away from the foundation of the house when the dirt level is at the bottom of the foundation of the house. Okay. You know what to do.